This is the Model 625 HDP hand dredge. You can tell it's the hand dredge because it's got the discharge valve after the elbow, which makes for a larger trap when you're trying to pump material through. This one's equipped with two inch hose, 24 inches of the telescoping pipe assembly, and the inch and a half steel restrictor nozzle. Over here, I have the experimental gravity trap concentrator, which I bungeed to a rock to get the proper angle. And to lock it in position, I'm going to place another rock on top of it. As you can see, the angle is extreme enough, it's going to make it real tough for any of the gold bearing material, the black sand and the gold, to actually get shoved out by the pumping. Okay. Now this particular site that I have selected, I've been shoveling all day and I just got done sluicing the material and there has actually been quite a bit of fine gold that's come out of here. Now what I would like to do is I would like to go along that bedrock ledge right there and I'd like to suction up all of that material that's along there. On top of the gold that's been in here, I've been finding lots of rusty metal, bullets, and other lead, which is a good indication that it's a drop zone for your heavy material, like gold. Further up, I shoveled this out earlier and I dug some of that rusty colored material out that's down in there. In fact, I've dug quite a lot of it out. And I'll be working this area too. Okay, let's get started. On the bedrock and I went I made I made it deeper I know that I could see that I made it deeper and I've suctioned out most of the smaller material that was sitting on and in between the rocks and next to the bedrock so now what I want to do is I want to pan out what's in the concentrator Yeah, you can tell that the Model 625 really does a good job at suctioning out. Yeah, look how clean that is now. Yeah, that's real clean. Okay, let's take a look inside the concentrator and see if it picked up any gold. Just fold it up and you're ready to take a look. Couldn't be easier. Cleaning out the concentrator couldn't be easier. Just fold it up and transport your concentrate, concentrates to wherever you're going to be panning. Cleanouts are easy too. A one minute clean out. The smooth interior allows the material to slide right out and then flushing it is simple. Just dunk it, lift it upright, and everything flushes right out.
There you go. Less than a minute. A full clean out. Nothing left inside. And it folds back up. Simple. Plenty of lead shot, another speck of gold. Look at that, all that lead in there. That's not mercury covered gold, that's lead. Lots of that. Fantastic. Look at that. All in all, let's see. all of that. You decide whether the experimental gravity trap concentrator is good enough for you. That's what I call, that's what I call getting the gold. Look at that, that's great. That's all with the Model 625 HDP and the Experimental Gravity Trap Concentrator. All this gold comes from the bedrock. Without the Model 625 hand dredge, I would have left all of this gold down there on the bedrock because shoveling did not get it. Fantastic. And look at that. There's so much fine gold in there too. Love it.